Mavic, yes, Mavic, that sort of almost forgotten famous wheel brand that we all used to know and love, have just announced a new wheel set, which is completely bonkers. The Cosmic Ultimate 45 disc and at three and a half thousand pounds for a wheel set, it might not be as crazy as you think it is. And I do think this is a bit of a glimpse of the future. So <laughs> shall we get started now? Here is the review from Bike Radar. All these stealthy black images where you can't really see what's going on. Don't you just love it? Um, anyway, the, the big difference here is that the spokes are bonded to the rim and the hub permanently, a bit like the lightweight Milesteins, which I'll get onto in a second. But great one from uh, Bike Radar. They really just read through the press release and reworded it. Wouldn't be su surprised if it's like an artificial intelligence article. Um, the rim to rim technology sounds more like a sex act. Uh, R2R runs 10 spokes from one side of the rim to the other through the hub. This totals 20 contact points on each rim. Yes, well done. Um, there's not really much to see in any of this, so I had to go hunting and looking. Uh, Road CC did a slightly better job at launching these. They gave some pictures and some ideas about how these spokes connect and how they run through. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. It's like I say, they're really focusing on that £3,500 price tag so here is as best i can a closer look at the wheels you can't really see here but just in the center the spokes run through and then back out again so this spoke here is all one piece and they bond into the rims now the you can kind of see better on the technical manual here so normally when you look at the mavic technical manuals you'll see part numbers for spokes and hubs and rims this is all one piece. Uh, the only places you can re re repair are the insides of the hub, which we'll get onto as well, which makes these very, very, very disposable. Like once you break a spoke or do whatever, that, that's it, it's game over, that, that all needs sorting out. So these are becoming but essentially disposable wheels. And I did have a quick look and Mavic are committed to doing something. So they're saying that they're all committed to ensuring your wheel can be repaired for at least five years. And they're normally pretty good, if I'm honest, to Mavic, apart from when we had the global stock shortages and they've been brought out and re-brought out. Their, spot, their parts are getting better. Whether it's still five years or not, I, I don't know, but at least there is something. Now, these compare to the, the lightweight Milestein Evos. This is the closest competitor on the market right now. The only other brand I know of that are doing this um, one piece hub spoke rim combination in any sort of sort of commercial way. I think I've seen a few others very, very niche, but these are the two major brands. And yeah, there, there are some key differences, mostly being that these lightweights on Sigma Sports right now are 5,419 pounds. So that's like 1,850 quid more for a set of lightweights. Now, I am all up for absolute ultimate engineering. I think it's great. I follow Formula One. I like the idea that, you know, cost no object, go out and engineer something. But I'm personally more inspired when you've seen an engineer have to think about the cost as well. So, you know what they say, it's light, strong or cheap, you know, pick two. And it's great that we can design stuff like this and make them as human beings. But I personally get more excited when I see an engineer who's got a great balance between those three things. And I think Mavic is kind of getting there. And I think this is a glimpse at the future. And I would not be surprised if we see Zip and Envy and brands like that take this sort of similar approach to their wheel engineering where that whole thing is just one big piece of carbon all glued together and it's, um, yeah, I think it's going to happen. And as that happens, we've already seen the cost come down from the set of lightweights, you know, down to the sort of um, a Mavic cost. I think that's going to come down again. My major concern is the repairability. I think if brands are going to go down this route, because they will get the price down and down and down, is are we just throwing up more and more junk carbon fiber out into the world? And as they do that, I'm hoping that this video and you're watching it and engaging with it might just be a little a sort of encouragement to say that's great i love it but what happens when they're broken what do you do with them what do we do with these piles of, of carbon fiber i think we should probably start talking about that 
Okay, anyway, a couple of key stats then. So Mavic, still using the ID360 hubs, which are terrible hubs, whereas the lightweights are still uh, using the DT Swiss 240 internals. I, the ID360 hubs from Mavic, they, they need sort of some special tooling. They don't work that well. They get jammed up. Whereas the DT Swiss 240s, they're so easy to work on. Parts are already available. You can get end cap converters and free hubs almost anywhere, just easier. The Mavics are claiming that they're only suitable for road, whereas the lightweights are saying road and gravel. The internal uh, thickness of the Mavics is 19, external 27. So they are going quite wide, not quite as progressive as Zip and some others, but getting, getting towards it. The lightweights are still a little bit old school. They don't say the internal, but the external is 24. Rim depth, pretty similar, 45 versus 48 on the lightweights. Tires, again, pretty similar. The Mavics are saying 25 to 32 is the ideal. They'll take bigger than that. The lightweights are saying 23 to 32, so a little bit more like old school. Um, yeah, funnily enough, the Mavics actually say valve hole, 65 millimeters, which might be a typo. Um, the weight of those Mavics um, is quite incredible. Let me just flip in and show you. These are claiming 1,255 grams for the set, whereas the lightweights are claiming 1,380 grams for the set. Now, lightweight do have lighter weight wheels in their range, but these are the ones that compare most easily with all the specifications in terms of rim width, width and depth, etc. So uh, that's pretty interesting. And then that cost, the, the Mavics, 3,575. Uh, over 5,445 for the lightweights, which is <laughs> close to a £2,000 difference, which is interesting. Um, Mavic are the first sort of big brand that I've seen take this engineering approach and then drop the price by, you know, almost £2,000. So, yeah, I think this is a glimpse at the future. And I'm sort of excited that we're seeing some new road bike tech and that filter down into i wouldn't say reasonable price points but less <laughs> pie in the sky price points and yeah if anything if you're in the market for this just ask you know consider that they are going to be a disposable product and what impact that has one on your wallet and to the environment cool there we go there are my thoughts um please share yours below because yeah, as always, the comment section I always think is more interesting. Okay, thanks for listening, everybody. Take it easy.